Welcome to Electron Online. So far, we've typically worked with problems or with examples where the position vectors start at the origin, and so therefore we talk about the moment with respect to the origin. We have the position vector, now we have some arbitrary force. Here's the force F, and of course the force F will have an X component, a Y component, and a Z component. Likewise, the position vector will have an X component, a Y component, and a Z component. So when we want to find the moment, we then perform the vector product, and the vector product then would look something like this, where we have the x, y, and z component of the position vector, the x, y, and z component of the force. We then perform a vector product, and it will look like this, and then we go ahead and then we execute this vector product methodology. But what do we do when we have an arbitrary position vector, meaning the, the position vector doesn't start at origin, start at some ar arbitrary point A, and the force act at some arbitrary point B in space? How do we then calculate the moment? So in this case, it will not be the moment about the origin. It will be a moment about the point A, assuming that that's the point of rotation. So then we can say, therefore, that the moment with respect to A will be equal to the position vector multiplied times the force vector, again, using the vector product methodology. But now our vector will look like this, and the matrix will look like this. We'll still have the I j and k unit vectors, but for the magnitude of the x, y, and z component of the r vector, we simply have to subtract the difference between the x positions, the y positions, and the z positions from the point of rotation to the point at which the force is acting. So this then becomes, here we have b sub x, oh, oh I'll take that around, that will be x sub b minus x sub a, so simply that's the magnitude of the position vector in the x direction, the magnitude of the position vector in the y direction, so it would be y sub b minus y sub a, and then we have the, the, the magnitude of the position vector in the z direction, that would be z sub b minus z sub a. And so you can see that you want to find the magnitude of the position vector, which is simply the difference between the x values, the y values, and the z values, where the position vector starts, the point of rotation, where the position vector, vector ends, the point at which the force acts. And of course, the, the uh, force itself will still be f sub x, f sub y, and f sub z. And so then you would execute the product that way, the vector product, of course, that way. So that's how you manage the finding the moment of an object and, or the moment of a force by, of course, realizing where it's acting, by finding the magnitude of the individual components of the position vector, and then you do the cross product with the magnitudes of the force vector. And that's how it's done.